I want to talk to you briefly about P traps and S traps. The purpose of a trap is to stay full of water and by staying full of water, it will block sewer gases from coming into the home. Here we have a, a clear P trap. And I got this clear one so you can see what's going on. As it stays full of water, obviously gases can't go down through it and come up into the house through the kitchen sink drain. And here's an S trap. Uh, I've put colored water in it so it's easier to see. And here we have a sink full of red water. Now watch what happens as I pull the stopper on the kitchen sink. The water is going to flow through it. And because it's a big slug of water, this can sometimes suck all the water out of the trap. Now in this case, it doesn't quite suck. It's empty. But it gets very close to being able to allow sewer gases into the home. And that's the problem with S-traps, and that's why they have been banned. Now, here's a P-trap. This is what's called for by code now. Again, I'm using red water so you can see what's going on. As I pull the stopper, you can see the water flowing through it. And once the water has stopped flowing, that P-trap stays very full of water. Uh, there's no chance for sewer gases to go through that trap and come back into the house. So that's uh, how P-traps work and that's how S-traps work and why S-traps are no longer allowed. I hope this video helps explain it. Thank you for watching.